Hi there, everyone. My name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another episode of my album reviews. Now, if you watched my last episode, you'll know that I covered Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Now, I mentioned this for a very important reason, and I'm going to get to this in a second. I went out uh, for my girlfriend's birthday and picked up a CD I ran into, and when I saw it, I went, you got to be freaking kidding me, and both of us being Black Sabbath fans, it seemed appropriate to pick up, but it's not a Black Sabbath album. It is, but it isn't. It is the Black Sabbath album, but it is Zack Sabbath. All right, I know, that sounds a little campy, okay. But still, it's, it's actually called Zack Sabbath Vertigo is the name of the album, okay? But what Zach, Zach's uh, Sabbath Vertigo is, is the Black Sabbath album. Redone by the one and only Zach Wild. Ho, 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 ho. You just got Music Chub. You know you just got Music Chub. Because we're talking about Ozzy Osbourne's premier solo guitarist after the belated Randy Rhodes. But the one who played with him the most often, the one that is most often associated with him after the beloved Randy Rhodes. Um, but, sorry, Zach. Um, Zach Sabbath, man. Okay. So, first off, you know the vocals are going to sound very similar to Ozzy because if you've ever heard Zach Wild sing in his band Black Label Society, he sounds very much like Ozzy. Ozzy's on the song Stillborn. You can't tell where Zach starts and Ozzy stops sometimes. Okay. Ozzy's even said the exact same thing, that he couldn't tell where Zack started and he stopped. So, that is a very crucial, important part of this. Now, another very crucial, important part of this is, this is Zack Wild, Ozzy's guitarist. This is a man who has played countless Black Sabbath songs over the years, live. Okay? The guy knows his Sabbath. He knows how to play his Sabbath. But... He doesn't play it like Iommi. He plays it like Zach Wilde. But joining him on this album was also... Oh, jeez. Sorry, I should have been ready for this. Was also Blasco on bass guitar. Now, Blasco, if you do not know who Blasco is, go look into um, Rob Zombie. One of his bassists over the years. And Joey C. Castillo on drums. Joey C. has been in quite a few spots. And I cannot remember 100% off the top of my head some of them. Because he's one of those great drummers that you know gets pulled in often for session work and stuff like that. The three of them do what I mentioned could have been done with the original Black Sabbath album. Which is a trio doing one of the greatest albums of all time. Now, this trio is a trio that knows how to play. And when they cover this album, they do it properly. So let's get into it. First off, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. What can I say? They do it right. You know, you can tell it's Zach playing and singing. And you can tell it's not Black Sabbath doing it. But it sounds like a great band that has studied, memorized, and learned their Sabbath. To pull an, uh, this song off like it is beautiful i've heard our other bands cover it before no one's covered it like it's covered here from there we go into the wizard once again beautiful the only time i have ever heard it covered even remotely close to this involved most of the members of the original band playing it and just having an additional vocalist uh check out the bullring brummies all right, after that, we go on to Wasp, Behind the Wall of Sleep, basically an NIB. Oh, baby! They don't just do NIB and shortchange it like a lot of people would. No, they kick into it, and they do the full version the whole way through, and they nail it. Sure, there's their own little inflections in there and their own little nuances and whatnot, but that's what you want when you hear another band do a song. You want to hear that band 
doing that song and it want you want it to sound like them and this this definitely sounds like you know it's not sabbath but it is a band that knows how to play sabbath and then we kick on two and i like how they did this they actually did a side one side two so if you were one of the people who managed to get this on vinyl you're hearing it properly like it was originally intended like the original album was done anyways wicked world baby wicked world Once again, not a huge fan of the original, but good, 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 good cover. And then we finish off with a bit of finger, sleepy village warning. They do it perfectly. They really do. Uh, now, if you look in the liner notes, you'll actually notice that there is a version that has evil woman out there. I am going to guess and say they did it the exact same way. It was done on the original release. So the UK version got the version with Evil Woman. Um, I didn't notice if Evil Woman is buried in here as a, uh, a hidden track. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not. I've listened to it enough times you think I would have noticed by now. Uh, but I'm not in a rush to hear the version of Evil Woman either. It's not a song I was into. However, if you like the original Black Sabbath album, if you like Ozzy Osbourne in the Zack Wild years, if you like Black Label Society, if you answered yes to any of those three questions, if you answered yes to all three of those questions, you must have this. If you answered yes to one of those questions, you should still really go out and pick this up. This is a fantastic album. Oh. I cannot rave about this album enough. I mean, this is definitely one of the best presents I ever bought another human being musically for their birthday. Swear to God. As usual, leave your comments, hit the like button, uh, hit the notification button so you can find out when I release new videos. And peace, love, and take care. <laughs>